Hi everybody, welcome back to Feast Bowl series episode 14 with Spongebob Squarepants, our day in the life of a sponge. And we're heading off into the downhill sponge at Sand Mountain and the skiers are moving faster as Spongebob is screaming out the odd and even number skiers. So that's what happens in the difficult level and there's more obstacles approaching. So off we go with odd numbers first and let's get going. Jump over the rocks. So we got 71 to begin with. 44 and 26 are not right. There are even numbers. Well 73 have found. And you know what about Sad Mountain? It's so much fun for skiing. You could do sports well on it as well. Anyway, we found 75. Which is a, a quarter of a hundred. Well, a third quarter of a hundred. This is amazing for that. Jump over the logs. We got the even number of skiers to give out. Right then, SpongeBob, let's have the leaflets out when you approach them. Right, 87, 57, 74, 72. Oh, we're doing good so far. Jump! 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 17, 68! These two skiers are not right because they're highlighted in odd numbers. Jump! Jump! Jump over the log! Jump! 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 Jump. 66. We got 66, of course. Seventy-nine. Oh, uh oh. Sixty-four. Sixty-two. I'll try and keep looking and using observation next time on the skiers. Sorry about that, people. Jump. Now we're moving on to the final round, and it's odd number skiers again. So away we go. 99. 99 for the skier. Uh oh. I missed the odd number out. Jump. 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 Jump out! 74, 97. 93! Well 99, 91. Mm, that's even number, so that cannot count. Jump over the stones and the rocks! I think we're getting close to the finish! And we're catching up with Sandy. And you got perfect round SpongeBob, as you know. Oh, not yet. We got another skiers to give out. So that's 89. 87. We caught up to Sandy. Hello, Sandy, the Texan squirrel. Yeehaw! Excellent job, SpongeBob. We scored. 999 Back to work again Indeed for Spongebob It's time for boating school After work, For Spongebob I do we're doing a fast uh, logic Press enter to play So in a difficult level we're doing advanced logic puzzles by doing subtraction So let's get going one time in boarding school, Spongebob accidentally cheated. Hold down to drive and, and Spongebob has a new boss in the, uh, in the season 4 episode. Right, let's think. Um, oh, um, hang on a minute. Oh, 
Hold on. Um, wait a minute. I got it. I think that's the second side, which is the which is the shape of a semicircle that's facing vertical. Gotta say that's brilliant out there. First question completed. It's time to go on to the second question. Let's try another one. Right. Okie dokie. Let's see. Third quarters. Oh look! We got two quarters, which is a make it a half. Excellent. Yippee! Too good to be true. And even though also what episode reminds me of a bowling school, there's a new driver, which is a very cool driver, Larry Shaw Jr. in um, the Hot Shot, I think. Which is really practical because I think he was teaching Spongebob how to drive this thing as well. And even Spongebob was driving the boat as well in the season 4 episode. That was the funniest episode I'll say, because Spongebob was driving the boat. But Spongebob, the Mrs. Puff, for Spongebob has passed, the, the manager told that, Sp uh, that Spongebob wasn't driving this boat at all. So Mrs. Puff has ripped Spongebob's license. But then, uh, the manager says to Spongebob we should go get some ice cream. But that's kind of unusual, but that's only in comedy, uh, the Nickelodeon show, basically. So, off we go again. Hmm, what do we take a look at? We're off to the third side, which is from three quarters take away the quarter, which makes a half. That's the next question completed, and that is number four. So, move on to the next puzzle. Let's try another one. Hmm, something minus a quarter equals a half. Hmm, I think I know. I think that's the second side. Brilliant! Yippee! Oh, yeah. What else I can remind from boating school is where Spongebob and Squidward become boating buddies. Which is really good, I'll say, for Spongebob and Squidward. Which is so good. And even Mrs. Puff works at the Krusty Krab for her summer job. So off we go again. Hmm. We found a half, which makes it left and vertical. That's on the first side, that is. We score 120. The fifth question is completed. Oh, actually, six questions are completed. So I think what that means is we completed boating school. Thank goodness we completed it. It's time to go to shopping spree. With Spongebob and Patrick as they collected party supplies from the bargain mart. In a difficult level, we need to collect free groceries and add up free coins. Right, a teapot, an uh, orange, and a pepper. Teapot. A teapot is made out of glass. We found the orange, a lovely orange orange. <laughs> a melon. That does not resemble a pepper. Well, it can resemble a pepper because it's green. So we got tea box, orange, and um, pepper. Brilliant work! Now it's time to go to the checkout and pay three coins. But what's the estimate? Add up three coins. Use the colored buttons to choose the coins you need. Press enter to pay. Twenty. Five. Two. two. You could choose blue or green with two Ps. So, we completed 20 add 5, and 2 is 27. Completed the addition. It's time to collect the cup, peach, and a cucumber. All cool, Jet. Cup. Peach. Wait, no, that's not it.
Oh, Pete is it. So we got cool jet and a glass. Lettuce, peach. Do you think that's right? We better check. I think that's the right of. Uh, I think that's the right of uh, the food what Gary has asked SpongeBob. Uh, SpongeBob was speaking for as well. So let's see. We need a 10p for the boot button. Five and one. So that makes 16, the right total. Second question completed. It's time for... Let's try another one. The final question. Broccoli, a party hat and an apple. So we collected the broccoli, which is on the first shelf. Look, a flowery shell necklace. That was not on the list. Uh, uh, a party hat and an apple. So that was not... Well, necklace is not what Spongebob speaking for, but that's a good try if we looked at it. So broccoli, apple, and a party hat. That's the right, uh, that's the right items. Use the color so let's see. Choose the coins you need. Press enter to pay. 10, 10, 5. 10 at 5, add 10, it's 25. We completed shopping spray. And it's time for the finale. House party time, and we're doing advanced patterns of musical sense and rhythm. Bob is going to have the best party ever. He sure will. Just like the episode Press Party Poop and Pants, where SpongeBob throws a party. Even though SpongeBob is having fun, I'll say SpongeBob and his friends are having a great, excellent time at SpongeBob's party, and SpongeBob is dressed as a funny. Which is good. Oh yes. More, more, more. Uh oh. We completely missed. Red, green, yellow, blue. Red, green. Red, yellow. Uh oh. When you hit the wrong buttons, but too early, it will go back to normal. Dear, yeah, there's no chance now. But never mind. 325 is a good score. Let's see what you score. The new high score, 1,549. Brilliant. It was a fine celebration indeed. And the most exciting day in the life of a sponge. It sure is. Do you know what that background picture reminds me? It's nature pants where SpongeBob lives in nature. But when he, uh, when he feeling lonely, he decides to come back home. And the good news is, that his friends are throwing a surprise party! A home welcome home party! Which is very sweet of them. And SpongeBob is very grateful to have his friends around. Which is so good. So that is a brilliant, abnormal, uh, exciting adventure with Learning Adventure. So now we're going on to Learning Zone. And we've got four base curriculum learning based activities. We've got Industrial Park. Snapper Shots, Ball Game Media, and Jellyfish Fields. So thanks for watching guys on so Learning Adventure. Please subscribe, comment, and like. And I'll see you on the next part on Learning Zone. Bye!